Hello gaming fans, here we are for some more Unreal World. So I gathered me up a bunch of guys here again and we're gonna go on the warpath. Right here's the Nerpagia whatever the heck it is. War camp. I got this. I got a bunch of guys here. I, since from last time, I have some better weapons to give them, so hopefully it'll turn out just like it did last time, but we'll see. Go get them, boys. Start off with an arrow shot. Oh, God, didn't work well that time. All those guys uh, <laughs> swarming him at once, so that should take him down pretty quick. Yeah, there he goes. Get him, doggo. Don't you kill my doggy. There you go. That's what you get for attacking my dog. What do we got here? Throw a broadhead. Broadhead arrow. There we go. Got him. I'm just gonna keep doing support while everyone else fucking attacks. I don't know if I can thread a shot through there. We'll, there we go, that's a better opening. Looks like one of our guys might have went down. Mr. Peasant. <laughs> or he's a tribesman, I guess they call him now. You guys get them all? Yep. Damn. What a game with a wood axe, I guess. Here comes some more fellas. Get ready. Yeah, take that, Mr. Nerpagia. Broadhead arrows are great for war, man. They really screw people up. What we do there? I only scratched him. That's right. I did give one of my guys a bow. Get that guy, sucker, on the ground. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we gotta take a look. What do we got here? Is that our guy that's still alive, or is that the nerp? No, he's dead. Yeah, he's still alive. So let's... Take off our bow, grab our fine spear, finish this boy off. There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Nerp. Anybody else in here want some? What do you think, Doggo? See how hurt up, beat up he is? He's not bleeding. He's got an arrow in him. Oh, he's escaping. You he had enough battle, huh? <laughs> but don't blame me, buddy. That oh, wasn't too bad. Hell, there wasn't even barely any nerfs here compared to that last camp. Might be some more. Who wants to talk to me? What do you want, buddy? All right. I don't know what you're yelling at me for. All right. Check the rest of these tents just to make sure. Not that I actually expect any to be in there. They usually aren't. Oh, there's another house. Any nerve side in there? It's a nice crossbow. Oh, I think we did it. Alright, let's grab some stuff just in case they want a, a reward. Should be enough. I don't need you anymore. Goodbye, buddy.
It's funny that they don't ask you for any conversation. I guess the stuff I gave them before is enough. Yeah, but I will take care of myself, buddy. <laughs> oh, that was about as quick as it, it comes. I didn't barely do anything. Shot a couple guys, and that was it. I'm going to find my broadhead areas here. There's one. Hopefully, maybe they'll have a couple extra broadhead errors on, broad on them. I don't see any yet. They got a lot of regular errors. There's a regular scimitar. Alright, Doggo, where you at? Where you gonna go? Get our bull. If I can remember where I put him. Should be right here somewhere. There you are, Mr. Bull. I name him Odin. <laughs> Odin the Bull, it's a good name. Hey, there's a elk. Alright, Odin, we got all kind of stuff to carry. Guess we'll just take it all. Anything that's not in good shape, we can always turn into like. We can always turn into uh, bandages or something. Had a torch on you, huh? Really? I guess, uh... Hit the item limit for him pretty qu quick, because I know he didn't hit the weight limit. How about you, doggo? You want to carry some stuff? Could have swore I grabbed another rope. I guess not. Can I only carry one at a time? Nah, I don't have a rope. Alright, what do we want to do here? Guess I just have to run this stuff home and then come back for the rest. Scavenging the old battlefield. Like I said before, though, one of the easiest ways to get rich in this game is if you can beat up war camps and bandits and stuff like that. It's very lucrative. Oh, it's very dangerous too though. Let's see if I can find my way through here in the dark. <laughs> no, we don't want to see no squirrel. Uh oh, wolves howling. Never did a uh, figure out if that means that there's actually wolves nearby or if it's just a sound effect but I always assume that it means they're nearby I can't stay awake <laughs> I swear every time I go to do something man it always rains like crazy if I'm sitting on my homestead doing nothing I'll just like it'll be no rain ever and as soon as you start to do something man it rains like fucking you wouldn't believe There we go. Finally made it home. Come on, Mr. Bull, pulling you over your fence. You sleep in the house today? Alright, let's see. What do we got here? See, I made a nice little uh, storage room here. Put all my different tools. I think over here is weapons and it's clothes, armor, tools, and then like jewelry and stuff from the far end. We are just gonna throw all this stuff on the ground for now. Come on, Mr. Odin, what are you doing? And then when I come back, I'll sort it. Oh, that's right, I had the leather rope on the freaking bull. I forgot about that. All that food's probably what put me over the item limit. 
If you ever have that problem with packing an animal and you don't know what's going on, that's what it is. You're, you hit the limit for items that you can put on him, not the weight. Yeah, we'll throw the rip around. We're probably not going to take the dog with us this time. We'll just go with nothing but the cow. Good old Mr. Strong Bull. You see all my turnips and stuff are just about ready. Oh, it looks like they're ready right now. Good. I'm going to pick up my... I had an elk. Got an elk during the uh, summertime there. Finally smoked up. Drop 20, drop 53, and 52. That way we can eat it while we're walking and we'll figure out what it is. Alright, scroll back out and let's go to, head back to the war camp. Now let's see, I don't see any more war camps on there for now, so people can live freely. Hey Mr. Foreign Traders, I ain't got nothing for you today. We got bland elk cut, plain one, very tasty. Might be mistaken, but I think there's uh, one level of cooking above very tasty too. Can't remember for sure what is my cooking. It's middle of the road. That's right, I forgot to mark that camp. <laughs> oh geez, we'll never find it again. Oh, I actually got to rest. Didn't rain on us during the night. Alright, where are we at? I think that's that one right there, is it? There it is. So if there's no nerfs around, other than dead ones. All right, Mr. Odin. See how much you can carry today. An old loop stair. <laughs> Guess we better take the stuff off this guy, too. Poor Mr. Uh, Cassie Tribe in there. What was his name? Ono or something? Uno? Mace, we'll take that. Put that by our uh, wooden shovel and uh, we'll leave that behind. The mace we can use to put next to our hide working station. I found maces for combat in this game are not very good. A nice round shield. Alright, what do we got? Fur mittens, we'll take that. We'll take that. Leather boots, we'll grab those. Nothing really any good on that guy. Very clean him off, huh? What has he got? Hand axe knife. Grab the arrows. Clothing ain't really worth that much from these guys because it gets beat up so much, but I take it if I don't, uh, if I have room, just because you can use it to repair other clothing and stuff. Is that it? No more guys around? Wasn't there? There was a crossbow or something over here. Anything in this place? No. Some pants or something in here? A woolen veil? I'll take that. Be useful for the uh, winter time. And a nice crossbow. I'm sure I ain't got no crossbow skill. <laughs> he has zero. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. If you have any crossbow skill at all, though, those are very good hunting weapons. All right, Mr. Aiden, I think we're done here.
Head on home. Yeah, that was a super easy battle, though. I was expecting a little bit more. I actually only had one less guy than I had the first time. Had trouble getting guys to want to come, probably because of the last time, but that's why I tried hiring people from this area. But I can't get to any of these places without a boat. I didn't feel like freaking making one. It's one thing I really, really need to find is a punt so I can get around in the water in the summertime. Take a nap. There we go. Go away, wolves. Must be wolves in the area right there because they keep howling right at the same spot. I caught a big wolf in my trap earlier in the summer. I uh, barely had him set. The only reason why I set the traps is because I seen that wolf. You gotta be careful when you have animals and wolves around. The wolves will attack the animals, then they'll start attacking you. Drop that stuff. Where's my tools at? I think we dropped the skins on the tools here. I did. I had a bunch of other ones I got from the last battle. I just filled them all with water and put them in my smoking cabin for whenever I want to cook stuff. That woodsman axe got beat up a little bit, huh? I'll take it all. Make your burden nice and easy. Uh, Oh, there's roasted ones. Where did that come from? Must have came off of an herb. All right, Mr. Aiden, let's put you back in the pen. There you go, buddy. Back to eating grass for you. Thank you for your service, Mr. Aiden. A loop snare. I, don't, I haven't been using them a little bit to help... Uh, Keep birds out of my garden. Other than that, I don't really use them too much. Something ate my. I had these brown ones over here are hams. So I still haven't been able to figure out these ones yet. But the ones over here, I made you figure out. But something was eating my hemp. I'm pretty sure it was an elk. That was the other thing I caught in my trap. When I set the traps for the wolves, I ended up catching an elk. But all right, guys, we're going to call this an episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the, the nice little battle there. And as always, happy hunting out there.